Hey guys, it's me, Stace. I am back today with our 3D Thursday video. Today we are making a photo cube pen pencil holder. Really cute, fairly simple, and makes a great gift. All right, so on my box here, you can see on the top, I have a few holes where pens and pencils are kind of poking out. On the sides, I have photos. I have one here of Harley. I have Hardy and Dinah together, just Dinah, and then Harley and Dinah. All right, so what you're gonna need would be a block of wood. I'm using a scrap from our shed. This is from a four x four deck post. Any size piece of wood you have will work. If you don't have access to wood, you can always have the lumber yard cut a piece of wood for you. Now, even though this is supposed to be a four x four piece, it does not measure four x four. It is actually three and a quarter by three and a half. Like I said, any size wood you have is fine. When you have your wood cut, you then want to sand down all the edges. And I just used the sandpaper we had. This is from my husband's hand sander. You want to just go in there and sand down all your raw edges here the top here or choose one side for your top. The cut end will be the top, the other one will be the bottom. Sand down your sides here where the photos will go. And then once it's sanded and cut, you then wanna draw your holes in that and my husband already did that here. We used a 7 16 inch spade bit to cut the holes. If you don't have access to that bit or a drill, you can skip this step and just add a photo here and make it be a photo cube but without having it be a pen pencil holder. All right, when all that was done, I wanted to finish it off and not have the raw wood. So I used stain. Um, this is just early American color. You could use paint, I thought about it, but I was worried about the paint kind of puddling up in the holes. But if you want a sponge paint on there, you can do that. So any way you want to finish your wood is good. All right, so I already have this piece done. It is stained and sanded and my holes are already cut. Now you want to grab your photos. And like I said, this is not a true four x four. So I have my photos cut and I'm using the same photos I did on my first block. This one though, I did cut my photos larger. These are three and a quarter by three and a quarter and I thought they were a tad bit too big. So I cut these ones a little bit smaller. These are three by three. And I'm just gonna go, go ahead and pick a side. And you know, sometimes the block is not cut perfectly like this one I can either, either my photo is crooked or the wood is crooked. Let me try this side here. Yeah, that one seems to be okay. So I think this side is looking kind of crooked. So you can put your photos on there straight or on an angle. You know, it's up to you guys how you want to do that. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go straight. All right, now I am using the real stuff as far as the Mod Podge. Normally I make my own by mixing glue and water, but I wanted to make sure I used the true Mod Podge so I wouldn't take a chance on ruining my photo. And the photos are printed just on regular photo paper. Right, you're going to take a little foam brush and you are going to just put a light coat. You don't want to have it puddling on here. Just a light coat of the Mod Podge just to hold the photo down like such. Okay, so just a real thin coat. Get the photo on there. Make sure it's on there how you would like it and it's straight. And I have Hardy and Dinah on this side, so I'm gonna have Hardy and Dinah on the opposite side of that as well. So kind of get that on there, let it sit there for a minute. I'm gonna flip it over on this one and do my other photo here. This is really, really cute. I seen this in a craft book I have and thought, yep, the hubby is gonna make this for me. So he did all the cutting, all the sanding, all the drilling for me. I just added the photos. And like I said, it's such a great gift with Father's Day coming up. I mean, you can put the kids on here, you know, pictures of the little ones on there and have them, um, you know, pick the photos out and you can have it on his desk. How cute would that be? All right, so I got that on there. I'm gonna just go ahead there, kind of with my hands, just lightly press on that photo, just so it kind of stays down there. All right, so I have Hardy and Dinah. I have Hardy. Now I want Hardy and Dinah again on this side. Like I said, if you know any size wood you have, is you want to use like a two by six, use that size. You know, you can anything. You know, all the possibilities are endless with this idea. I'm just sharing the idea with you guys. All right, so another thin coat of our Mod Podge. And I'm gonna do Hardy and, or just Hardy by herself. Is that right? Yep, Hardy by herself on this one. No, Hardy and Dinah. And you can do photos with the kids. You can do cutouts with the Cricut. I mean, lots of ways you can really do this. Now, if you don't have wood or don't wanna use wood, you could probably do the same thing using um, the Cricut Design Space or the Slow It software, or you, like a gift box punch board and make your own box. I would just reinforce the box with chipboard or cut it out with chipboard so it's more stable. Um, I probably wouldn't make it be a pen holder, but you can certainly do the same thing here with the photos, you know? 
All right, so we're gonna have that one be on here. This will be our last coat for this photo. Again, you can see just a nice thin coat just to get the photo down there. I'm gonna turn it this way and put this photo on. And again, I kind of just wanna press on the photo a little bit and move it over some. Just kind of press on it to where it stays down without having glue on your fingers, otherwise the glue will be on your photo. All right, let that sit and set up for a minute. Let your glue dry. When that is done, we're gonna go back over it with another coat of Mod Podge, let that dry, and another coat of Mod Podge. So it'd be total um, one Mod Podge layer on the block, and then two on the photo. I'm gonna let these dry, we'll come back and finish it off. Alright guys, we are back. This coat has dried. Now I'm going to put the first coat on top of the photos. And again, you want to kind of go light on it. You'll see the Mod Podge goes on there white, but it does dry clear. I'm going to do a light coat. Make sure you cover the entire photograph on there. Okay, so there's that one. Let's flip it over and work our way around. And you will see the lines, like I said, even though this is going on white, you will see the lines when it dries, you'll see clear lines going through it. That's fine. I don't know of a way to not have that happen. side. Isn't this cute though? I really do like this project. Like I said, you don't have to do the um, holes on the top if you don't want to. You could just make it be a photo cube. Okay, and then this one. That's my favorite picture of Harley. Love that one. Okay, so keep on going down. And I do recommend if you're going to go up and down like I'm doing this way, you want to do all your coats the same direction, otherwise you're going to see a lot of lines. Okay, so we are done with this. Just make it as even as possible. Just make sure you don't have anything hanging over. Something right there in my Mod Podge. Gonna wipe that off. Super cute. Okay, let this dry. It's only gonna take a few minutes to dry. We'll come back and put a second coat on it. Then we're gonna be finished that, and then we're gonna glue some felt on the other side. So see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, we are back. Our first coat of Mod Podge over the photographs is dry. We're now gonna go ahead and do a second coat. This may be our third coat. Again, you want to just go even and not very thick. Okay, so we have that one done and just work your way all the way around. off any excess that you have on the corners. And that's it, let this dry and then we are good to go with our little photo block. Okay, the last one here. Just cover the entire photo, then just go back over it like that. Make sure there's nothing, any excess over there. All right, looks pretty good, I think. And now we're gonna let this dry, and then when it's dried, it's done. We're gonna flip it over on the back side and take a piece of felt. And I cut the felt, I wanna say the size of my block, which is three and a quarter. I have my hot glue gun heating up, but it's not gonna be 
um, I just plugged it in so it's not going to be quite hot yet. So I'm just going to use some of the art glitter glue. This works really good. Okay, so I'm going to just put it on my block. You can use hot glue, you can use tacky glue. This way, whatever um, surface you're putting this on, it'll be protected. It won't scratch it. Okay. Put the felt on there. Isn't that cute? Really nice. And like I said, this makes a really good gift. I'm kind of flip it over. Put the weight on the felt. Now while we're here on this hop, I'm, I am going to go ahead and um, mod podge this hop. You don't have to do this hop, I just, um, it just adds that finished touch to it. And like I said, if you don't want to um, stain this, you don't have to. You can leave it plain wood color. Um, you can paint it if you want to, but I would probably recommend not using a brush because the paint will go down there. You can have like a little paint puddle. I'd probably sponge it. I mean sponge the top and then you can paint the sides. But anyway, you want to finish it. I think it's really a nice little project. Okay, so there we have it, guys. That is all done. When that's all finished, it will look like this. Super cute, right? All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.